everyone welcome to our channel Dex Nav Analytics my name is Niharika Rai and in this particular video I'll be talking about MongoDB or the language used on MongoDB that is MQL so without wasting any further time let's get started MongoDB is a document based database program which was developed by MongoDB Incorporated and is licensed under server side public license that also known as SSPL. It can be used across platform and is a non-relational database also known as NoSQL where NoSQL means that the data is not stored in con uh, conventional tabular format and is used for unstructured data or semi-structured data as compared to SQL and that is the major difference between NoSQL and SQL. In SQL the data is stored in rows and in columns whereas in no sql format the data is stored in a document format where each document may have different columns and each document should have an id which relates to this particular document here Mongo, uh, mongodb uh, uh, stores the document in either json or bson format JSON is also known as JavaScript object notation. Uh, when I say JSON, I basically mean that the, the data is stored in document format but also in the form of key pair values as similar to dictionaries in Python. And BSON is uh, nothing but a binarized format or binary format which is quite hard to read for a human uh, human being to understand bson is nothing but a binary binary format of json files hard to read and this is easy to read now um, now MongoDB has a structure wherein we have a database and the database is has in particular collections and collection comprises of fields database is again similar to uh, database is again similar to sql that uh, there is a um, you say the primary primary folder wherein you have a list of you where you have a list of tables um, known as collections but instead in uh, mongodb the collection is not in the form of tables but in the form of documents which can be either json json or bson format and then we have fields uh, it these are similar to the column names which we have in our tables but instead it is just a key value key va key which has values inside similar to the dictionary in python so in general database is a group of collections and um, collection is a group of fields and fields is a, a group of key and pair values now uh, to start with what we can do is we can uh, log into our accounts account in mongodb atlas now when i talk about atlas it is nothing but uh, a platform a cloud-based platform where where we are able to um, write our queries of mongodb or use mql language mongodb query language to extract data or uh, perform data deployment things so that's that now initially what you're going to do is now it is free to use the mongodb atlas is free to use what you can do is you can go ahead and start with a free trial here um, when you'll go to this web particular website it will say that start free all you have to do is click on start free and then you will be shifted to this particular sheet here 
Chrome tab wherein you can sign in with your Google account and uh, yeah you can sign in with your Google account uh, write your organization name if any if you have any company name how are you using MongoDB so here I have I am learning MongoDB since you are learning MongoDB so click on learning Mon MongoDB here write in your mail IDs here your first name your last name and the password and you will be good to go um, also click on this agree terms and services part so that you so that you are able to log in here I have filled in all the credentials uh, prior to this page and now I, I can see that name of the organization and the project name so here you what you are going to do is just add on your name of the organization so here I am writing Niharika's OR Niharika's and here I am writing project 1 and select your preferred language here so whatever the language you want to prefer you can select it here javascript that is json bison or anything else or skip to continue now what you have to do is this is a page which this is a page which which ask you to create a cluster uh, either by their atlas or just use a portion of the atlas that is the free space that you are allocated um, to use your data so here I am going to select and create a cluster now when I say create a cluster I basically mean that um, the files I am just trying to create a place wherein all my data values will be and from there I can divide my uh, data in and give it uh, give it give the access to various uh, sets of clients or something like that and the data will remain there so I I will have approximately uh, 516 MB or something like that uh, space in my cluster so here I am what I'm doing is I'm clicking on create cluster don't go for this if you want to buy a purchase buy a version of a paid version you can go ahead and click on those otherwise just click on create a cluster and then select uh, the nearest nearest location here I have um, Mumbai AP South dash one as I live in India so that's that now what I want you to do is see I have 112 MB storage here and this is a sh shared RAM portion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the name of the cluster as sandbox now sandbox is a, a cluster of given to us by MongoDB which has few data sets which you can use and practice from now this page is uh, you can see that there, there is a page uh, which looks like this so now it is going to take some time to create your cluster named sandbox it has a lot of uh, free data sets available so I am using uh, the project name zero your cluster is being created here it is going to take some time and then uh, we'll be able to see what data we have and how to query our lang how to query data from those particular collections now once you have this connection made and you have the sandbox here all you need to do is um, once the entire process is complete you'll go and click on this connect tab which will show a page like this now what you have to do is you have to go ahead and click allow all access and click on that once that is done we'll keep this uh, we'll keep this add connection IP address uh, this only we will not change this part all we are going to do is we are going to change uh, the username so suppose um, here uh, by default I am going to write M00 01 and I'm going to add a password here so if you want to add a password you can go ahead and do that here so if you want you can go ahead and click on the username or you can just choose connect and then click on connect with mongodb shell 
click on MongoDB shell here and then go ahead and click on I have MongoDB shell installed okay and just there but this is the process we are going to follow later on once we have loaded our data set so to load our data set what we are going to do is just going we are going to click on this load here three but uh, three dots click on that and then you have load sample data set just load the sample data set and wait for a while until until that is done you'll see a blank portion here after that is complete you'll see how much of us how much the capacity of your atlas you have utilized here so let's wait for this process to complete so after waiting for a while we see that the graph has been uh, has moved upwards where the data of the uh, data has been loaded all we have to do is click on this collection tab to see what my data looks like so here we go we click uh, clicked on collections and here we can create a database as well as we see that there are a lot of databases available to us first we look on the left hand side of the things that that is here you have sample underscore airbnb here you have sample analytics sample geospatial um, sample underscore mflex and so on and so forth so these are your these are your databases now when i talk about uh, when i click on any of these say i click on training here or uh, training is my database and these are similar to my sql these are my um, tables or collection in this case in mongodb we we say the term is actually collections not tables because the data is in the form of documents so here we have companies grades inspections posts routes trips and zips now when i click on a particular collection here we have the loading portion uh, when i click on the particular collection we see that the data has a lot of key value pair here name equals to wet paint permalink is abc2 and home page url and the data related to is this particular uh, key is this one so each each and every value here is each or every portion of the data is divided into small small documents in json format and yeah now if you want to write your queries you can go ahead and click uh, click here and you'll be able to fetch your data on the basis of um, the query you are writing or the filtration method which you are using um, so let's start with our first query here so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a curly braces and i'm going to write a key name say uh, name and i want to extract all the columns all the columns which has or not in column all the keys which have wet paint values in them so wet paint remember to write it as it is and we'll close that and press enter so once we do that the resultant uh, the data will be uh, this since we had only one uh, one key value that had a uh, value which had wet paint we have this result so suppose now instead of writing name let's take founded year founded year which is here the company or the name of the company was founded the company was founded in the year 2002-5 so i want all the companies um all the data related to 2005 so here we have year colon sorry quotations and colon and we write 2005 enter
so we have a lot of data related to 2005 here you see that the day year is 2005 and then we have again 2005 for youtube as well revision 3 also is belongs to 2005 and so on and so forth so that's it for this filtering part we'll be discussing how to filter data using mongodb or using this mql language later on um, but first we'll go back to the original connection page here we have connect option click on that and allow ip choose a connection method and then connect with mongodb shell so if you have um if you have a community um, set up there you can just go ahead and click on this mongodb shell and copy the code and you'll be able to connect to the mongodb compass so we'll be doing that later on uh, in the next video for now that's it so that is how you um, that is how you um, can use mongodb um, it's one of the tools um, that is atlas and that is how you write queries but there are a lot and lot of many ways you can write queries um, we can form pipelines as well we can use aggregation frameworks to aggregate our data and that's that for but that's it for this video if you like this video uh, please go ahead and click on the like button also click on subscribe button if you haven't already um, also we have you if you want to learn more about dex lab analytics you can go ahead and mail us on hello at the rate lab analytics dot com or you can use the given numbers on the screen to either whatsapp us or call us uh, our website is www.textlabanalytics.com. Currently, we are placed in Gurgaon. Thank you so much for having me. Bye-bye. Take care.